Hello everybody and welcome to Tech It, or back to Tech It. So you join me with my beautiful new tree farm formation behind me. So between the previous episode, which was our World Download episode, and this one, I've been on a little bit of adventure, just out and about, mostly to try and find some more villages, which was very unsuccessful. But um, I did find quite a few coloured trees. So I've been collecting coloured trees and their saplings. And now I have this wonderful contraption configured to go for colour. I don't really have a problem with wood anymore. Um, but I've now got these uh, these nine different colours of sapling. All being nicely collected. White appears to have been most successful. And I know that because when I came back once this whole thing was white. Because it all totally glitched out. But that's not the focus for today's episode. The focus for today's episode is on the next stage of the villager collection place. So I built another building over here and I'm going to continue to build more buildings. I also did find another village. Uh, I also caught some more zombies and de-zombified them. But what I want to build today is a trading post. Now this requires an emerald block which we can easily do. It also requires a note block or jukebox even which is again very easy. And then is it just if I could get rid of that and get rid of that and put that there and that there trading post so what the trading post does uh, you finished slapping on all the doors is if you put the trading post down somewhere so I'll make a better home for it eventually no doubt uh, maybe put it inside that new building over there we put it down within range of villages and then click on it it brings up all of the trades that are available helping you see oh hello I was just trying to work out how I was going to get more gas tiers to build more nets. And this guy is happily trading for them. So let's grab some emeralds. And if we click like this one, it brings up the villagers interface. And then we can go, here are your emeralds. Please give me some more safari nets. How many safari nets are you going to let me have? You. Oh no, there we go. So if we come away from him now, and then back in again, we should have a new... A new trade available. Ah, oh, cool! A, a, an emerald and a safari net gives me a mystery creature. That's cool. Let's get one of these, shall we? Because uh, these nets effectively are free and easy. And I have to do it anyway to get my safari net back. So, it's a mystery. I don't know what it is, and it's obviously not worth no, I'm dropping it down in here because I don't want to kill or set something dangerous loose or have it killed too quickly. But, oh, I was under the impression that I had one with gold blocks. Am I wrong? But we got everything. We can get iron for emeralds. That's very easy. Paper for emeralds is very easy. Books for emeralds. Now, we've been in Miscraft Worlds collecting books. Don't really need rubber saplings. Don't really need arrows. Raw beef. I can definitely do some raw beef uh, because I have seemingly unlimited amounts of raw beef because of my farm. So let's just get some more emeralds on the go. Does that let me? No, it's only going to let me get a couple because it's obviously uh, oops, very expensive. So which is the new one? Huh? Yes. Um, so this is why we wanted the villages, and this is why we want them all in the same place. So we can just get a trading post of coal. So we now, you now want coal for emeralds, which is fine. Because again, I have a feeling we probably have whoops, a seemingly unlimited amount of coal. Oh, 21,000 coal. And the best thing about obviously trading with them is that it unlocks more trades and unlocking more trades is the key to getting the trades that I want I'm going to have to trade for crap with the uh, Miss Craft Villager changes pages really so 16 you've taken what? you changed your changed your desire are you willing to take less for more uh, so let's just quickly see what the Miss Craft dude will change to Blue isn't particularly great. I thought you were gold, or so I found. I'm sure, I found gold somewhere. 
Come on. Now one for forest hills biome. At least you're quite consistent at changing very significantly. Where have you gone anyway? Oh, now you've stopped trading. Well, that's irritating. Which one of these are you likely to be then? Unless you've gone out of range. That might be an issue. So if we need to move this. Oops. We move this. Maybe into here. Is it you? Or you're a notebook. Oh yeah, so there's, there is. Is that in the middle? Yeah, right at the chandelier. So some of them aren't there. So that Miscraft villager just then, who had the notebook for offer, doesn't appear on this list. Nah. Why don't you appear on this list? Oh wow, it contains all sorts of crazy things. I didn't think it was going to be actually full of things. That's cool. Hell biome. I, that was unexpected. And now he's willing to offer me a resonant ender block. Oh, 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 let's buy that. Let's buy that. So this is why I needed the trading post. And realistically, I probably will end up killing. Killing is probably the wrong word. I'll end up removing all of the non miscraft villages this will just be a miscraft village villager large boring because it is these miscraft pages there you are i thought it was you oops sorry so why don't you get picked up by the trading post so the trading post is clearly having some teething problems strongholds interesting interesting but we can get some wonderful pages by the look of it which is going to be extremely helpful. Uh, excellent. Okay. So let's go and see what our mystery block is. Our mystery box. We're safe up here, aren't we? What's this? Oh, it's a wolf. Hello, wolf. Meh. Oh. No! Get the wolf, you little shit. Trying to attack my sheep gonna tame you and make you my friend and, and feed you and look after you and, and you attack my sheep and now you must die you irritating bastard uh. <laughs> right miscraft pages okay let's get back down here then so we have um some miscraft ability i don't think those are going to be on the list apparently so we've got miscraft pages number three. So if we put those in there and add those two, we should be able to store them. Nicely dub, nicely done. One and two, nicely done. And then uh, drop the emeralds off. Uh, we'll drop the chest off. I was doing something a minute ago, and we'll throw these away for a second. Uh, I'm going to get some leather boots from. Did I have to kill something? Not really sure where I got leather boots from, but there we go. And we'll quickly grab all of these. And just see which ones need adding to the list. Because I do want to play with some more Mistcraft and get on some more Mistcraft adventures. Because there's some, some very cool stuff that will take place in those Mistcraft worlds. If I can get it set up, I want to really, really, I'm going to be honest, I, re oops, I really want to find a a world that offers, like, nether quartz as, like, a story, like, a specially spawn thing, because that just makes um, collecting it much simpler. Right, two gas tiers. Oh, yeah, I was worried about gas tiers, but now I've got safari nets. So what I think I want to do is probably build an ender chest not with white though um, not with black either um, so 
sky have we got? Uh, red. I don't like red. Let's go for red. If I mix that with that, we get whoops, some red wool. So we'll need two. So ender chest, red sorted, and then we want the ender pouch. Oops. Red sorted. Okay. So we now have an ender chest and an ender pouch. So we can put this anywhere because it doesn't really matter for now. It's just, it's going, as you'll see in a second, it's just going to be for, for convenience. Um, I guess it makes most sense to put this up here somewhere. Not, not in here. It's the first time I've ever failed to get up to the top floor. Right. And I've fallen back down again. Brilliant. How proud am I? Okay. So. We have the ender chest and we'll put it down. We'll just put it down here. And then what we're going to do with this ender chest is we're going to take the net launcher and all currently 12 of our safari nets. I'll get some more when I work out how many spaces I've got. Put them in there. So we'll carry the ender pouch wherever we need to go. And obviously we could also put the other ender pouch in there for convenience, ender pouch reception. So therefore I got this ender pouch now, which accesses my tools. So if I'm out adventuring and I do find a village or some miscraft villages and I want to capture them, I now can, or interesting animals, I guess. Excellent, so that's very cool. So we have the village happily living way down here. We have a trading post set up now. It's a few teething problems. Uh, I'll admit that. It's not quite as perfect as I'd like it to be. I've added a few typical things to the village, like a, a place for them to make their, uh, get their, grow their carrots and their potatoes so they can get some dinner on the go. And uh, when I hear a chicken, oh, there's a chicken there. Hello, chicken. Apparently the villagers have got a chicken as well. Well, they, whatever the needs must. So the villager prison and or villager safe haven, to be fair, they are very happy that how safe they are kept by the force field they find themselves in as a species they're not particularly keen on traveling too far so therefore <laughs> they're quite happy to be where they are so i'm happy to leave them there but i want to get some more miscraft villages i want to get some more miscraft pages i want to get some more miscraft worlds so what i think i'm going to do as far as my tech it series is concerned is i'm going to break break it into two parts so there'll still be the regular series episodes where i'm going to continue to build the cool machines and try and expand i need to sort out my power um in some way for the base because obviously i need, I need to generate more power than i am because I'm, I'm running low on stocks now as far as my storage is, at, is out so I'm, I'm only producing enough power that i need just so that every machines will function and then i might branch into a second sort of series of episodes which will be released simultaneously so uh there are going to be more of the random crap I'm doing in the background episodes. So, you know, like messing around in Miscraft worlds and exploring, adventuring them and doing, um, expanding this sort of base and another little tiny, you know, little, little background project. Some of the things that I would do off camera, I might start doing on camera and, and just make like a tech it, um, background let's play. I suppose, I suppose, so you can you can see and, en and enjoy more content if you'd like. But at the same time, if you'd rather stick to the main ticket series, then the main ticket series will stay as is with the the big projects and the big devices and almost like the tutorial about how to do things as is. All right, guys. Well, I hope you continue to enjoy the series and enjoy the episodes. And obviously, if you want to leave me any feedback or specific, uh, especially if you want to see me build anything, let me know in the comments down below, because I am very close to the end of my to-do list as far as the things that I want to build. So I would love to hear some project ideas from you guys, things you'd like to see me do. Um, so different mods to play with, different types of machines to build. Um, if it's as simple as like build a, a fuel burning like oil refinery factory and or build um i don't know i don't want to say like fusion reactors and fission reactors from the um the different mods that are available i'm happy to hear and, and i'm open for ideas because i really want to build a, a series and, and make some episodes that you guys want to see so yeah let us know and i will see you again very shortly for the next episode bye for now guys